Welcome back. On this day in history, General George Washington created what we now know as the Purple Heart Award. Back in the days of the Revolutionary War, it was called the Badge of Military Merit, recognizing American soldiers wounded or killed in combat. And in honor of Purple Heart Day, I had the privilege of sitting down with two local recipients who share the meaning behind the medal. Nobody volunteers to get a Purple Heart. Nobody wants a Purple Heart. But when you do receive it, it's a, it's a, it's a, quite a badge of honor. For retired U.S. Army Major Dan Edinger, Purple Heart Day is a time of reflection, a moment to look back at his 26 years of military service and remember his brothers in uniform who died on the battlefield. We have people in our background who have lost their lives, who were our heroes. Can't forget them. Cannot forget him ever. Edinger enlisted in the United States Army during the Vietnam War, earning the military's high honor not once but twice. First in 1967 when enemy fire wounded his left leg and again the following year when his head was hit by remnants of gunfire. A piece of shrapnel and, and fractured the orbit of the right eye. Retired Army Staff Sergeant Robert Sadegrin also signed up to fight in Vietnam, part of the 101st Airborne Division and the 173rd Airborne Brigade. And it was described as death tugging at your elbow every day. This is a PTSD thing. It's really sad but true. You know, you can't, you can't erase it out of you. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. He received his Purple Heart after surviving an attack on recon patrol. We walked into a 100-man strong ambush by the North Vietnamese. About half of his unit died. Bob himself narrowly dodged what could have been a deadly bullet. It went through my, through my eye right here and through the side of my head right here. He keeps his purple and gold medal tucked away in a drawer and takes it out just once a year. Only on the 7th. It reminds me of all the friends that I knew that didn't come home. To the country, it's a symbol of valor, a way to say thank you for service and sacrifice. But for the soldiers who wear the merit badge, it also carries their military memories. It's hard to pull it up. It's hard to take stuff back, so we oftentimes put it in the closet, close the door, and we don't open the door again. The United States has given out an estimated 1.8 million Purple Heart Awards in 1782. The first three soldiers were from right here in Connecticut, and tonight we thank all other recipients for their service and sacrifice.